Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new standards of excellence. Yes. Say yes to engage in reportage with a difference. Yes. Introducing Yes International Magazine. Any upcoming photographer who wants to play in the big league like you're doing, what must the person do? Any what? Any young photographer, any upcoming photographer who hopes to get to where you are today, who hopes to be shooting for presidents, for governors, for senior presidents, for all the top shots, captains of industry, and so, what must the person do? Um, I've said that earlier on. Nothing but education. Then you have to carry yourself very well. Um, with education comes exposure. With education comes a, a deeper knowledge of what you are doing. And you need to carry yourself very well. Um, you can't just dress anyhow. You... you you don't talk anyhow to anybody and respect be humble and uh, the rest will be history i don't even want anybody to come behind me and be like me i want them to be better than me one million times and that's my prayer is for the children to be far far much better than us so when we are old and retired and tired we can sit back and say yes uh we the john the baptist now the messiah is here we can just go and rest in peace. And that is my prayer. Okay. Now, what would you describe as the greatest thing that photography has done for you? The greatest of all the things that it has done. Which one is the greatest? Wow. <laughs> You're putting your... Okay. Uh, financially, it has given me peace of mind. Psychologically, Photography made me to meet my wife. Um, what else again? Socially, I know a lot of people that um, that I social with. Uh, and at the end of the day, the best thing is the love that I have from photography. That I have for photography and. Photography has made me to see things that people will pay money to go and see. I saw them for free, you know. And even though it is work, but it is not even work for me again. I was just having fun. But the greatest of all, the greatest of all that will live long after me is the Nigerian passports. Uh, my pictures are watermarked on Nigerian passports. And to me... Every time I'm traveling or I'm at the airport, I always look at people and say, oh, man, I did I, you've done well. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I like that. I like that. Okay. I'm going to take two more questions. One is, when did it dawn on you that you should begin to funnel some of your photographs into a book? You know? I mean, how, how did you come up with that idea? How did you come... To that uh, realization that I mean you could also do that and also make money from there um you know with old age comes experience uh it turned on me about 13 years ago that will people still be able to pay for what i'm asking for and thank god i took that decision i was in the bathroom that day, when the whole idea just came to me that hey, you have to stop this, you know, even though you are making a lot of money, it's not sustainable. It's not something that I can, I can sustain for the rest of my life. And it was a back-breaking job, you know, flying from one end to the other, within Nigeria, back and forth, going abroad, all over the two destination weddings and stuff like that. How long am I going to do that for? You know, I just said, okay, let me start something. And it became very boring. I know the process of weddings. I know the process of birthday, going to church, that, 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 that. 
at the end of the day, it's just the same thing as far as I know, you know. And um, uh, I wasn't, I didn't get any fulfillment. Let me put it that way. No fulfillment from doing such. So I just said, okay, let me divert. Let me now go to what I actually studied. Because anybody can do social photography. You don't have to go to school to do social photography. You know? And that was how the book idea came from. And to God be the glory, it was from the book that I made in Lagos State and Nigeria, my first two books, that uh, God bless him, wherever he is tonight, Franklin Wiki, the Minister for Information, then got to know about me. And um, when the e-passport was introduced into Nigeria, as part of the security measures, they said, oh, let's put Nigerian pictures on the passport. So without me doing those things, there is no way on earth I will have been known at that level. And that changed my life completely today. Interesting.